Okay, we're going to do Fluent ANSYS project number two. We're going to do this simulation uh, with an angle of attack of 30 degrees. Let's get started. Fluent flow. We're going to bring up our geometry. We're going to decide, uh, get a new design modeler going here. Generally takes a minute. Okay, first thing we do is we're going to change our units to centimeters. Take an XY plane, square this off, and we'll start start ge our geometry. And then we are going to make a 30 centimeter flat plate at a 30 degree angle. So the first thing I like to do is get my angle here. And we'll get this at 30 degrees. It's right there. We'll get our general dimensions down here. It's going to be 30 centimeters. And this, our thickness is 0 0.1 centimeters, which means it's going to be very thin. Okay. Now we're going to draw a rectangle around our entire geometry here. Okay, concepts, surface from sketches. We're gonna select our sketch, apply, and generate. Okay, there we go. All right. Now we will go back to our workbench and we will get our mesh going. Here we go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is I wanna name my sides and everything. So this is our velocity inlet. And this side will be our outlet. Um, top and bottom, these will be our symmetry. And okay, and now we will name our components here. This is our upper wall, oops, upper wall. And this is our lower wall. And here is our back wall. And we will zoom in on here. And this is our front wall. Okay, there we go. We have all of our name selections here, velocity, inlet, outlet, symmetry, upper wall, lower wall, back wall, front wall, okay. Now we are going to generate what we have here and look at our mesh. Um, we're gonna come down here to sizing. We are going to shut our mesh defeaturing off. And after we do that, we will add inflation mesh. We're going to add inflation in our geometry, select, apply. Okay, and now for our boundary. We're going to find our boundaries here. We're going to select this one. All sides here we're going to select. Such a thin plate. Okay. It's hard to get those end edges. And there we go. Why we have four edges. Okay. 
Um, and we will generate those. Okay. Now let's go to method. Let's click here. Book, book, fly. And we will use triangles and generate. Okay. Let's our mask. There we go. Looking like that. Okay, so now we'll go to our sizing. Element size 0 0.01. Let's generate here. Ooh, that's really... That's a mess right there. Okay. Let's come into our flat plate here. Let's go to sizing. Let's go to apply. And let's pick on, here we go. One, two. Apply four edges and generate. Takes a minute. Okay, and we'll do some more sizing here. Go here, here, um, element size 0.1, but apply edges and generate okay there's our mesh okay now we are going to go back to our workbench and update mesh here Probably shouldn't have closed that screen out. And our mesh is updated. Okay. Let's go to setup. Double precision. And start. very slow computer. Okay. And now we'll go to models. We'll go to viscous here, and we're gonna choose K epsilon, go to standard, enhanced wall treatment, pressure gradient effects. Okay. Um, now we'll go to materials fluid, air. Our parameters call for 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed density and 1.8 to the negative fifth our viscosity. Change, create, close. Boundary conditions. Our velocity inlet. Our air velocity is gonna be 15 meters per second. Right here, we'll apply and close. And now we will go to our reference values where we will compute from our velocity inlet. Our area is gonna be 0 0.3. Our length is 0 0.3. Everything else looks good. Our reference zone will be our surface body. We'll go to our methods, uh, simple. Right here, um, our second order will be presto, momentum, uh, first order upwind, and the rest of that looks good. Monitors, residuals, 
Okay, a couple more zeros in here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that looks good. Initialization will initialize. Hybrid initialization is done. Run our calculations. And our number of iterations will do 1500. And we have calculate. And here we go. Our lines seem pretty straight. This is going to take a little while. we do a lot of iterations it takes uh it takes more time obviously but our lines do seem smooth they're not jumping all over the place i've had that happen before and usually your contours come out looking terrible <clears throat> And it doesn't help that my computer is very slow, Oh, calculations are complete. Okay, let's look at our reports. Let's see what kind of forces were produced. Let me choose all that. We'll print them out. Okay. You can see our pressure forces, 33.548 newtons. Our viscous forces are very, very small because of our 30-degree flat plate. And our total drag force is 33.716. Let's look at our plots, our XY plot here. Um, we'll go from wall fluxes, our X wall shear stress. Um, we'll try the curve length. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, looks like it's going to work. And there's our plots right there. Okay, so let's go back to workbench and these things are closed out. Let's go to our results. And here we go. Square off right here. This over here. Let's go to our contours. Contour one. We're going to go from symmetry one. We're going to check our velocity here. We'll do 75 contours and apply. And there you go. That's what our velocity contour looks like. Let's change our legend around here. Let's go to horizontal. Zero five. And apply. And there's our velocity contour. Go up here, let's go to contour two. Let's, let's do pressure. Symmetry one, pressure 75. Why? Pressure contour doesn't look too bad. 
And let's do uh, vector profiles for velocity here. Vector one, symmetry one, vertex, let's go with the two here. Velocity and apply. And here you go, here's our flat plate. You can see, you zoom right in there and see where our air is coming through. You can see the reverse flow behind the plate. And it's counteracting, causing our initial flow to deflect. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole simulation in a nutshell for Project 2 ANSYS Fluent. Thank you.